Hey everybody, this is Tyler Walsh for Tyler Walsh TV. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I wanted to show you a wicked little device from a company called Cerevo. They're based in Japan and the US and they've released uh, this year in early 2015 something called the Live Wedge. This is the Live Wedge right here. Um, it is a four channel HDMI video switcher uh, that can be controlled by an iPad app. I'm actually uh, switching and broadcasting and recording uh, this little segment on the Live Wedge device uh, recording to an SD card that it comes with. Okay, some specs of the Cerevo Live Wedge. Uh, as mentioned, it is a four input HDMI live switcher. Um, it has a program output, which means basically an HDMI output that you could put to a monitor or some sort of other live streaming device, something like that. It has a preview output. I want to show you what that looks like. Um, this is just a uh, camera that I've got on my HDTV. Um, you can see I've got four inputs outputting uh, to four different boxes on my TV. Okay, so there's four main points that I want to go over for the Cerevo Live Wedge device. Um, point number one is the fact that this is just a fancy little, very robust live camera switcher. It really is plug and play for the device itself, which is fantastic. Uh, you can route uh, multiple audio channels um, through all those HDMI sources or a fifth channel uh, from the auxiliary input itself uh, and then mix all that audio together, remove channels, add channels, whatever you want. You can do it either through the device itself or the iPad app which is just really cool. Um, like I said, it's, it really is plug and play. It takes a little while to get used to this little toggle wheel right here and the buttons. Um, the app is a little, um, a little more complicated um, even after that, but um, once you get the hang of it, it is really, really easy to use and uh, works most of the time, but I'll get there. All right, the second point I wanted to go over is the fact that not only is this a great little uh, four input live switcher, it's also a live streaming device, which means that utilizing the app and the ethernet port on the back of the live wedge, uh, you can live stream to services like YouTube, Ustream, at the Free Press, we actually use Livestream, uh, which uh, can be pretty proprietary, but the program output on this device uh, can actually go to a live stream broadcaster box. Uh, I've tested it and it actually works great. All right, point number three, uh, it's super simple, but I just love the fact they've added this functionality to the device. Uh, there's an SD card slot in the back, which means you just stick a card in and you can record whatever uh, you've produced. At the end of the production, you press stop and you've got an all-encompassing uh, file, uh, MP4 file, H.264, 1280 by 720, I believe is what it outputs to. You can basically take that file, upload it to YouTube, do whatever you want with it, uh, and it's already there edited for you. All right, the fourth point I wanted to talk about is some of the editing functionality that the device has. Uh, so not only can you uh, fade to black and cut and dissolve between shots, uh, you can actually do picture in picture and chroma key. Um, I've got my green screen set up right over here, so I'm going to show you a little bit more about that. And voila, that's how easy green screen is with the Cerevo Live Wedge uh, utilizing the app right here. Um, there's a couple of quick functions that I uh, need to do, a little bit of adjustment that I need to do to get the green screen right, uh, but once it's set up, uh, you can save that option and green screen. All right, some final thoughts. From the outset and, and with the specs I've been reading, this is sort of exactly what I've been looking for. I love the fact that this unit uh, is so small and I can tell they've really tried to make it user friendly. The app is actually really robust. Um, unfortunately, uh, because, I don't know, it seems to me it's a new technology and they're really trying to figure this thing out and they're trying to pump a lot of information over wireless from that Live Wedge device to the app, that the app is really glitchy sometimes. On the plus side, the Cerevo Live Wedge device itself works entirely without the app. Um, so if you want to do basic recording to an SD card or output uh, 
your uh, your entire program signal to another live streaming device like like we would with uh, live stream uh, it actually works really well just like any app I think Cerebro is going to consistently try and uh, do updates update the firmware to the device itself get it working better making sure everything works together so there you have it the Cerebro Live Wedge device by Cerebro fantastic little device love it i think it's got a whole lot of potential and i hope they improve things from here uh, but this is going to be a great option for a lot of different people who don't have the budget for big thousands of uh, units that cost thousands of dollars uh, so would i recommend it absolutely 100 percent uh, give it a try let me know what you think if you have any questions uh, comment on any of these videos get in touch with me thanks for watching everybody i'm tyler walsh